sister for this week's edition of Saving Time. Better than shake and bake pork chops. Quit buying the things in the boxes. We're just paying for spices that are already in your cupboard, so cut that out. Don't do it anymore. That, 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 that's, uh, that's a game they're playing on. There's no magic in the shake and bake. We have it all. We're doing pork chops, and then this week I did something different, and I'm doing it here this week with all of it because it's it was so good. I loved it. Zucchinis are in right now. I like using whatever's fresh as much as I can, but you don't want to have it the same way all the time. New recipe I tried, love it. Zucchinis with mushrooms, we're doing them in the oven, so good. So that's what we're doing this week. It's a really quick and easy meal. Start preheating your oven, as I have, <laughs> to 350, and we can get busy and be done. I really think we can be done this ready to eat in an hour flat. Let's see what we can do. Right off the bat, this week's sales I got at Metro. Pork chops are on for $2.44 a pound, so I got five big chops for $7. How can you go wrong? That's a good deal. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna make our shake and bake in any pan. You want a pan that's big enough to lay your, your chop in flat. So here, our bowls are kind that of, there's not enough bottom surface. So I'm just using this. Use whatever you've got that's gonna give you enough surface area to lay your pork chops in. Let's make our own shake and bake. Quit buying that stuff. Honestly, quit buying that stuff. I, I mean, a thing of breadcrumbs costs like less than $2. So, and you're gonna go, you, you can make six shake and bakes out of one tin. Really? Like, think about that, right? Mm -hmm. Who's taking the money? Don't let them have yours anymore. Do it yourself. We're gonna put one cup in there. So that was half cup. And here's a full cup. Just like that. We need some salt and pepper, of course. Not too much salt because these breadcrumbs may already have some salt in them, so we won't go overboard. I'm gonna call that a teaspoon. Five chops, one teaspoon, that's probably gonna be great. Now we'll do some black pepper. Isn't this fun? This is easy. This is shake and bake, right? No, we, we're not gonna shake it, we're gonna dredge it. Same difference, okay? We're gonna go, I wanna go two teaspoons of pepper. And just do that. I've written on here sage, uh, I, I think actually on the recipe that I posted and write out and will appear at the end, it says sage or thyme. I have sage here because I'll tell you what, I'm running out of time at home. <laughs> and I know, right, it's very funny, but I am actually, it, it's growing in the garden, but what I dried last year is just about gone. And I'm gonna save it because there's gonna be something at home that I'm gonna wish I had it for. So this beautiful sage, I dried it last year. My sage has already tried to flower this year. And I say tried because I'm not ready for it. So I'm, I've been cutting back the, the buds as soon as they show up to make it last. And I'm nearing the end. I've got what I brought here today probably represents a little more. I've probably got at least twice that much left at home. A couple more recipes I'll be able to do. Good enough, right? And then some Parmesan. So we did salt, pepper, breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna do Parmesan. I wrote on there three tablespoons. I mean, it's Parmesan. A little more, a little less, it's not gonna matter. A good heat, that's a tablespoon. If we measured, I'd be right, I'm sure of it. I've looked at a tablespoon more than a couple of times. There we go. That's it. That's our shake and bake. You're gonna love it. And then just mix it around. You know what? I'm not gonna mess around with that anymore. Just use your fingers. Just make sure that you get a good mix in there, okay? And now that's gonna be ready. We're gonna set ourselves up in stations. This is kind of similar. We did um, an oven fried chicken quite a long time ago now, I think. But this is sort of similar in that we're going to coat our, our, our pork chops with mayonnaise first. Trust me about this. Okay, we've done this before. I know that it's not a new technique for me. It keeps the moisture in, it makes them delicious. So normally when you shake and bake, I think the instructions say to rinse it in rinse the meat in water first and give it a little shake and then into the bag with the dry mix. So we're instead going to 
coat the chops with some mayonnaise, then dredge them in the mix and onto the baking sheet. I wrote on there half a cup, quarter cup of mayo. I'm probably, I'm over a quarter. Let's see, I'll put some back. And we'll see if a quarter cup is accurate. I wanna make sure that what I wrote is accurate. So we'll see. Now that looks like a quarter cup. My hands feel messy, so I'm just gonna wipe them off. These are nice chops. Now for this recipe, go ahead, use bone in. They've got a good long cooking time, so there's no reason to torment yourself and, and spend extra to get boneless chops. Go bone in and look at how nice these are. These are nice thick chops. And again, this recipe, don't get those ones that are banged out and really thin. I think they call them like a sandwich chop or something like that. Get a good thick chop. They're in the, in the oven for an hour. They've got time. So, what I'm going to do, make sure you put the mayonnaise in a dish. Don't be reaching in there. Do not do that, you'll be contaminated. Don't do it, just go ahead and get a little full of derby, okay? It's only gonna take a minute to wash one more dish and it's gonna save a whole lot of potential trouble. Don't be tempted. This is not a big deal. Food poisoning, that's a big deal, okay? Don't do it. Now. Imagine doing about a tablespoon on each side. You know what, let's do two at a time. Ha, ah, and we'll save time. Um, go about a tablespoon on each side. Grab a knife, use your fingers if you want, but you're gonna get into a sticky mess if you do. And before you're finished, you'll go, go, go through a roll of paper towel, try and keep your hands clean. And speaking of which, I know I got a piece of paper towel out. Or what I perceive would be my messy hands and I've lost track of it. It's my special gift. <laughs> I, I put it somewhere thinking it wouldn't look nice in the video if it was sitting out. Uh. <laughs> oh well. It'll show right after we're finished. Take your coated side. Set it in there. Mm -hmm. Yum. And then we'll do this one. Get another tablespoon on there. Spread it around. Thumbs up. And give it a look at this, right? Come on already. It's beautiful. And then there, both sides. And then onto a sheet that's lined with parchment to save ourselves from a lot of hard work later. You can scrape a little bit off because we're going to lay it in there. And then you can just do that. And see, see how my spoon is touching that and the knife is touching that. If we were reaching in that jar, we would be creating a recipe for disaster. We don't need that. I'm in a bit of a mood today. I'm on fire. <laughs> and then I'm trying to keep my fingers clean because of the lost paper towel. <laughs> And look at how nice this looks. Shake and bake never looked this good. And there we go. Shannon's helping me out. She's inching over there to get me a piece of paper towel so that when the time comes, I won't be sweating it. Here, there we go. Thank you, Shannon. I'm, it'll show up now, like in the next five minutes. I bet I say, oh, there it is. <laughs> now we'll get two on the plate again. These chops, I had them sitting out for eh, about 20 minutes. You know that I believe that the room temperature getting the chill, really cold, cold off of them is best. And also because I rinsed them earlier, you can see there's some accumulated liquid on the plate that I had them sitting on. Better to get rid of that. And these look nice. There we go, that's in. Give that another little and again, we're thinking about half a tablespoon, a tablespoon on each side. And give it a flip. Yeah, that almost slipped. That would, I mean, it would be the end of the world, but a bit of a drag. Okay. These look fantastic. I'm hungry for it. I'm hungry for it. I will, of course, be feeding this meal forward at the end of the day. We will, I'm going to give that a bit of a shake be donating this meal to a family in our community. And there we go. 
don't know. Um, the I set the chops for two forty four a pound, which was a great buy. We got some for home too, because why wouldn't you, right? That's a good deal. Seven dollars. This is a lot of meat for for seven dollars, right? I mean, if you had kids, I don't know, a kid under twelve probably would be hard pressed to eat that whole chop. That's pretty big. And there we go. And our last one. And I'm pretty close. Uh, look, I'm going to make it with my bit of mayonnaise here. I think I went a little over a quarter cup. Um, might have been closer to a half, but maybe you don't have as many chops or as big. Who knows? Still, we can always add some to the bowl, can we? But once it's in there and contaminated, you wouldn't want to do not even think about reusing this mayonnaise, okay? Do not. No, I'm very stern. I, this is, no, this is serious though because people, you know, and sometimes we're really just not thinking about it. Like you just say, oh, I'll just save that. You're, you haven't really thought about what you're doing. But I mean, we just say, oh, that's okay. No, it's not really not. Not. See, I'm going to not fret. I'm just going to find a place to scrape that, and I'm not going to. I've got extra crumb here, so what we can do is just use a spoon for our hands and sprinkle it around a little bit. Because again, why wouldn't we, right? So, we can just just put a little bit more on each. Just you, Your fingers are already a bit of a mess, so go ahead and get in there. That's just gonna make them extra good. It's important to make sure that we had enough to go around. And there. Should we flip them and do more on the other side too? What do you think? I don't know. We could probably call it a day. I think we're solid here. Now, I've got a little extra in here, so if you want to go a little bit less, I did a full cup. Maybe we could have got away with three quarters of a cup of bread crumbs. I probably wasted 25 cents here. Maybe it's okay. These are messy. These are, let's just cover that up. Nobody needs to think about that. I just found my paper towel. <laughs> it's down here on the bottom shelf, all folded up out of sight. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted you to see that in the video. I'm just going to clean that up so that I don't have to think about it. There. These are going to go in the oven for an hour. Our vegetables need 40 minutes. It's quick and easy. I'm putting these in straight away. Then we're going to get our veggies ready. We set the timer for 20 minutes once we put them in. That is a little tight again. Maybe I'm weak. I haven't done it in a while. Okay. In they go. 350. I've got 20 minutes on my timer, so I'll hit start, and in 20 minutes we want to add our veg. I'm just going to get these things out of our way so that we don't have to deal with that. We can go right there. And I want this out of the way. I don't want these things anywhere near the rest of our food, okay? just because we don't need that in our lives. Can you imagine? Wouldn't that be awful? Okay. I'm just gonna wipe this counter up. The zucchini and mushrooms, dead easy, you guys. Honestly, it's the easiest way ever to, to do this. It's a new favorite for me. And you can imagine how many, how many recipes I probably have, right? So this is a new favorite. I, I think everyone at home was as excited about it as I was. Uh, hmm. Maybe not as excited, but nevertheless happy. Now, grab your cutting board, put a towel or a dishcloth or something damp under it to hold it still. And I keep this tea towel just for this. If you have an old tea towel that you know you don't want hanging on the front of the stove because you wouldn't want anybody to think that you still have that tea towel then right it's getting a little on the old side this is a great spot to use it as your cutting board now. and then you've got that dollar 
67 a pound. So I got all three of these are about right around a pound. So it was less than $2 for these three. Beautiful. And they feel really good, like they're heavy. But which you want, right? When you pick it up, you want it to feel heavy. Yeah, I know, I'm getting tight with lifting my zucchinis. <laughs> Butter your dish, okay? Whatever casserole you're using, whether it's a glass one or a, a baking one like this, put a good whack of butter in there, okay? Don't be shy. Butter it well. We don't want it to stick and we want the flavor. Mushrooms at Metro were $2.99, and, and that's a fair price. I mean, it's not a sale price. That's the regular price, and it's fair. I went ahead and bought sliced because I'm going to slice them anyway, and it's the same price, so, you know. I just bought them, but if you're in another store and you choose to get the whole mushrooms, you do need to slice them for this recipe. That will take you five extra minutes, okay? Usually, I often just buy the whole mushrooms, and uh, I find they keep longer. Once they're sliced, their, sh their shelf life is a little bit sacrificed, so if you're not sure when you're gonna use them, buy the whole mushrooms, let them last. You know what? We can use this little tray for our compost, and then I'll feel like I do, you know, a bit of a shame with plastic, right? Dump them in. There we go, that's good. Take the ends off, and we're just gonna do slices, okay? So just in coins. So just, just look at how easy this meal is. I'll tell you what, it's so good. We are zipping along. No time flat. And then it's in the oven for quite a while, so you've got time to, you know, gee, you could sit down, look at a show on television, read a book, do whatever you do. Knock the homework off with the kids. Oh, it's summer, isn't it? They're not doing homework right now. And in, in, this, there we go. Whew. Is it, this zucchini is so nice. I gotta tell you, sometimes they get kind of spongy feeling. You don't want that. Okay, you want, you want it to feel heavy. You don't want the spongy zucchini. Spongy zucchinis are not what you're looking for. If you end up getting, I don't know, there's probably a proper name for it. I always just call them summer squash. The yellow, they're the same as zucchini, but they're yellow. Like I said, there's probably a special name, summer squash. You could use it in this recipe just the same as if that's what you've got in your garden, go ahead and use it, okay? It wouldn't make a difference. This meal is almost ready. Are you kidding me, right? This has got to be one of the easiest ever. Barely any dishes. Look at, we, we're not even hardly making compost. We're gonna reuse this dish. At the very least, we're gonna get a reuse on it. You don't need to worry for this recipe about having a pan where you can spread everything out. I know that sometimes we're trying to make sure there's space between them. Not the case for this one. Look how simple this is. So if we've got the zucchinis and the mushrooms. We're gonna go salt and pepper. And we're just gonna, that's about a teaspoon. I don't think we need that much. We could probably make do with half a teaspoon on this recipe. You'd always add it at the table. So we've got that. And then the same thing with some pepper, about a teaspoon in hand, and you'll want the teaspoon of pepper. Not everybody will add the pepper at the table, and they should. But I, <laughs> there we go. And now for this one, I need to go back in the fridge eventually. For this one, I want to use sage. And sage or thyme is useful. I said I'm out, sorry, basil, not sage. I was like, ha ha. Now, give it a little, again, this is still mine from last year. I could have trimmed some new, it's there, but I'm letting it have a little bit more time. If you have fresh growing in your herb bed and you wanna just put a few sprigs on there, go for it, that's lots. Right, if you've got some fresh stuff, just tear it up in your fingers and toss it on, it'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. Butter, 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 butter. We're not using oil this time, I want the flavor of the butter. Go three, four tablespoons on top. I've written four tablespoons there. You're going to know based on how much you cook. 
right, like what your quantities are. So just, just cut it into little, just cube it a bit. It doesn't matter too much. This got soft fast. And blob it around, okay? This is, it's gonna be great. Don't be afraid of butter, okay? <laughs> and it's all gotten so, I can't believe it's so hot these days, right? Like I just had this out of the fridge maybe half an hour it's been sitting there, not that long. We'll just do that. <laughs> okay, now I'm the mess again. But don't worry, because I have this. <laughs> See, that was ideal, actually. Truth told, that worked out perfectly. Now, this is kind of silly, but I'm going to, I usually look after things like this off camera because they tend to make an awful lot of noise and I think nobody needs to hear that noise and so on. But, okay, I recently did this and, and I'm congratulating myself because how many times have you fought with a roll of wax paper, saran wrap, all these things? and they won't tear straight and then it's all wonky and you're kind of peeved and the next time you take a piece, same problem. And you know what? Most of you probably already know this. I thought I was being really clever, so I'm going to share it. So you measure it out. Look, look this is the thing, right? You take the flap, put the flap inside the box, okay? Hold it tight. Look at that every time wax paper parchment paper any of them but don't store it like that because then you could pick it up and cut yourself on that sharp edge right so but put the flap inside i don't know i thought i had like a massive kitchen breakthrough up the hole putting the flap inside and just in case other people have had this kind of thing come up for them there you go this is my newest discovery i feel like it's a bit of a big deal I was always upset though because you're wasting so much. If it's all wonky on the end, it doesn't cover the whole thing, and then it's it, and, and plus it just irritates you, right? It's like, ah. <laughs> Seal that up nice and tight so we don't lose the butter. Okay? You want to keep the moisture in. It's going to go in. Let's check our timer. It still has almost 10 minutes on it. When your 20 minutes are up. We're gonna put this in the oven and set the timer for 30 minutes. I can come back on and stick this in the oven on camera or not. I might, I might not. If I don't, I'll see you in, in 40 minutes, I guess, okay? I'll see you okay. at the 30 minute, 20 minute mark, I put the vegetables in and did 30 minutes. Oh, those chops are great. And now we're gonna take our veggies out carefully. Remove your lid. Woo -hoo. Give them a little push around. Look at how nice this is. This was so good. You're gonna be so happy with this. Trust me on this one. These smell divine. Just push them around a little. And then I wrote half a cup of cheddar. I mean, you think that was probably a little shy of a quarter. That's a little shy of half. <laughs> And there, that's half. And just like that. And then we're gonna pop it back into the oven, uncovered now for 10 more minutes, and then it's dinner time. Put this in the oven, set the table, I'll see you in 10. Everything's out of the oven. It looks amazing. Look at these nice pork chops, right? These look so good. They look so good. And I'm saying it like I'm surprised. I'm not at all surprised. I'm not even a little bit surprised. This looks so good. So let's plate it up and see what we've got. Now, this meal, everything I bought, so the chops, the zucchini, the cheese, and the mushrooms, everything I got for just under $16, so closer to 16 than 15. But look at this plate full of food we're gonna get. Look at this, look at how nice this is. And see how the cheese is just a little bit melted on there? This is so good, you're gonna really like it. And this total, beautiful food, pork chop, zucchini, mushrooms, all of this, $4 a plate, right? $4 a plate, are you kidding me? That's a big pork chop. You got little kids, you can easy pop that, I'm sure of it. 
$4 a plate. Beautiful food, nice, fresh zucchini, local mushrooms. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. Quit letting food eat up all your time and money. Look at how beautiful this is, right? No shake and bake. You know how to make it yourself now. You always did. It just seemed like there was there must be a secret in that box. There was no secret. It's the same. Please continue watching our videos and if you enjoy them and you like the recipes, hit like so I can keep getting those supporters coming in. They can see how many people are watching and liking these videos. Subscribe to the Westminster Orangeville channel. Hit the little bell and then you'll know each week when the video goes up. This is beautiful food that we're making together. Keep enjoying it. I'll see you next week. Bye.